Hey, it's trainer Amy Jo, and today we're gonna do the hourglass workout. Join me, let's do it. So as you know, we all have different genetics, right? We all have different genetics, whether we are thick-waisted, small-waisted, whether we're long, whether we're short, whether we have hips, whether we don't have hips. So when it comes down to the hourglass figure, cinching the waist in, we all have a capacity to reach, a ceiling height of what we can achieve, right? So obviously body fat plays into that. So reducing your body fat in the area around the abdomen is really gonna help cinch the waist in. So that's number one. But number two is how do we create a tighter, smaller transverse, which is the, the muscle group that runs across the waist like a belt, in the lower abdomen, and how do we make our right underneath our ribcage nice and small and tight and long? So we want those exercises, and that's what I'm going to show you. All right. So a few exercises to start. We're going to go into a low plank position, and I want to do a TikTok plank. Okay. So this one here is directly targeting those obliques to tighten the obliques up and make them stronger, make the transverse tighter. So we're pulling in the belly button, and I want you to reach up and over, up and over, like you're trying to tap something on the floor, and then you're trying to reach up over an object, okay? Up and reach over. Push the heels back. Don't be here on your toes. Keep the butt down and engage, not up in the sky. Okay, body is straight. Tick tock back and forth. Helps tighten, helps definitely strengthen and help those muscles grow into the obliques down to your transverse. So give those a try, 20 reps. The other exercise is your cat-cow, okay? Vacuum. Practicing the vacuum is super important. And the vacuum exercise all starts with the foundation, the deepest layer of the abdomen, which is your transverse. Okay, shoulders are directly over the wrist. I'm on my knees and on my toes. I'm vacuuming in the belly button, arching, not arching, rounding my back, arching comes next, pushing down and opening up the glutes there. Push up, pull in the belly button, and I want you to hold while you're breathing, you're contracting the transverse, and then push down again. Come up again, pull in, okay, tightening the transverse, making the waist smaller. You're contracting and tightening that band. So pull in, reducing inches by contracting the transverse and making it tighter. Okay, one more. Push down, pull in, and contract. Three more seconds. Hold it there. Hold it there. Pull in, three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay, moving into the third exercise. Now these are really gonna help with the transverse again, but also increasing how tight our upper abdominals are on these muscles, which helps create the smaller waist. Okay, so bicycle crunches up, and you're crossing over, and I want you to come back, and then rotate. Come back, and then rotate. Take these nice and slow. But what this is going to do is help those upper abs become tighter and become stronger. And with the visual of those abs popping and those abs being tight and stronger, you're going to have a smaller waist. Ten more. Nice and slow. Contract hard. Breathe. one. Excellent. So those three exercises right there alone, when done properly, when you keep in mind the anatomy of the abdominals and the anatomy of what is creating that hourglass figure, it's a smaller waist. So number one, body fat, right? Which includes nutrition and how many calories you're burning in a day. Number two, directly, is, is genetics. How thick is your waist? How small is your waist? What's the capacity of how small you can get your waist. And 
and um, how large you can make the other areas, which creates hourglass. So even some women who have had, had babies, I mean, I have three toys, and I know that my ribs and my waist alone is not as small as it once was. So therefore, I have to understand that I can only create such an hourglass figure to a, a full capacity of what my genetics allow me to achieve. And so with that, you, you rest in that. Be confident in who you are and how God created you and what you have to work with. But that doesn't mean at the same time you can't want to make improvements and try hard to make improvements to figure out ways to train smarter and have better quality workouts and leave all the junk behind. So join us here on Athlean XX for Women for that science back based exercise and programs that we want to offer you guys to help you perform. So thanks for following me along. I'm trainer Amy Jo. Check out Athlean XX for Women for more of workout programs just like this nutrition programs that can help reduce the body fat that I was just telling you about um, in a very good, sustainable way. So check them out, leave a comment below. I'm trainer David Joe, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.